Hello, this is Sar with Mythic MTG number 363, looking at the unbanning of Jace and how to beat him. My reaction to this is twofold. Number one, yeah, because I'm going to play some Jaces. And number two, what are you guys thinking? This guy is broken. Let's talk about how broken he is before we get in to exactly how to beat him. Modern has a lot of decks that are tier one that could use Jace, that Jace is actually an upgrade for those decks. This is a solid modern control deck, very, very good as it is, and you can slot one or two or even three Jaces in to this type of deck and just improve the deck overall. Modern control did not need Jace. Here is another great example. This is a Just Guy control deck that is in the top eight of a major GP. And look at the Planeswalker that they're using here. Compare this to Jace. Jace is just hands down much, much better. Jace is a huge improvement in many different modern decks. When you look at control decks, they've been using Jace Architect of Thought. Come on. Jace the Mind Sculptor is not an upgrade here. This is a top eight deck in a thousand person Star City tournament. This deck only gets better by slotting in Jace. Yes, there's going to be some decks that run multiple Jaces and are even more customized for Jaces. But you take tier one decks that are already out there, remove a bad card, and put in a much better card, the decks don't get worse. I don't know what R&D was thinking here, but happy to have him back because I'm going to play him. In looking to fight Jace, we need to find cards that Jace performs very poorly against. One of those decks is Red, White, Blue, Tempo with Geist. Geist of St. Traft cannot be removed by Jace. The 4-4 Angel goes over the top and kills Jace. I also really like the Spell Quellers in this deck because it's difficult for Jace to deal with them. You're going to get to cast this free awesome spell if they bounce it back to your hand. So having threats on the board that Jace can't deal with is very, very important. Yes, Bloodbraid Elf does help a little bit with Jace. The decks that slot Bloodbraid Elf in right now, though, are not very popular. We're going to see a little bit of a resurgence in Jund, cascading into things like Lightning Bolt or even Lightning, although I don't think Lightning's actually good in Modern, uh, will be positive ways to try to deal with Jace. But on the more creative side, Cards like Snapcaster Mage with cards like Spell Pierce or Negate are really, really good against Jace. That ability to counter Jace before you start to get card advantage is more important. Many of the singleton answers, they've already gotten card advantage and they're moving towards their second Jace. Discard Jace early. Thoughtseize and Duress are two of the best discards in Modern, and if they can't cast their Jace, you don't have a problem with Jace. Tax those blue players. Thalia is really, really good. People who play Jace decks are often playing a lot of instants and sorceries, cantrips, when you slow them down significantly and kill them before Jace can hit the board, you're going to win those games. Outdraw Jace. Dark Confidant is a house. Monster, great card, and starts you drawing two turns earlier than Jace. Go over the top. I know there's a lot of people who are going to hate my suggestion here, but Tron is a solid deck, and cards like Karn Liberated and Ugin just destroy Jace. So if you can't go under Jace, go over Jace. Another option is to go wide. Put a lot of threats in play. Young Pyromancer and Lingering Souls are both cards that Jace has serious trouble dealing with because of the massive token production. And I took this suggestion from Saffron Olive's article over on MTG Goldfish talking about how to beat Jace. I strongly agree with him here, and I've used both of these solutions in Legacy to combat Jace. Additionally, Jace has trouble with monster lands, lands that turn into creatures and can directly attack Jace. My two favorites are Celestial Colonnade, because it gets around the Lightning Bolt issue in Modern, and Creeping Tar Pit, because it is unblockable, and you're often playing blue there, 
where you've got the ability to keep it alive through lightning bolts. The red-blue land also seems to have some potential there and being able to hit for four. So even if they have started to uptick, you're going to hit for a lot of damage. Uh, Raging Ravine, I think, is probably the roughest that I have on this list because of the lightning bolt issue in Modern. What solutions do you have for Jace that I forgot? Please post them in the comments. I greatly appreciate it. Modern is becoming uh, one of the most interesting competitive formats out there. I'm glad to see Wizards putting more effort into Modern and really considering banning and unbanning cards. Even if I think they made a mistake here with Jace, they're mixing the format up and it is a fun format to watch. Thank you to everybody who's over there on Patreon supporting the channel. I greatly appreciate it. I've redone the Patreon entirely, so we've got some new tiers available. Also, thank you to chess.com. They are a sponsor of this channel. If you want to play me at chess, please head over there. I'm always looking for competition. On a final note, uh, also please check out my personal channel. It lost uh, YouTube partner status recently, and I'm trying to get some subscribers back there. Uh, but I'm going to be producing a lot of videos and even a YouTube Creator Day here in the Seattle area coming up later this year. Until next time, choose the cards wisely.